All right, let's do a quick one here today. As you can see, the market continues to tumble down today. What happened was, though, actually, this is where we closed yesterday. We actually saw a gap up this morning because, remember, in the morning it opened. This is where we closed. We opened here, but quickly that gap was filled. Remember, yesterday did the same thing or, yes, yesterday did the same thing because this is where we closed and we actually saw a sizable down gap our up gap and that was quickly filled as well so we're seeing something we haven't seen uh pretty much this entire year just last two days because what we went not only that i mean even this down gap this is the first time that this down gap was never filled this entire year really since the november low what happened was any sort of down gap was quickly filled next day or even in the next two days this is the first time not only this down gap wasn't filled and and because of that boss bear uh, was able to establish their command center because all the selling pressures coming about from this down gap because this down gap was never filled and when bulls trying to get back up here to fill this down gap you, you see how quickly bulls got shot down this is very much a character from the bears that we haven't seen this entire year something has changed right and even with them to this morning's gap up that gap was quickly got faded and we did see that continuation to the downside remember first hour second or third hour right but why did we see that gap or the run or downside run slowing down here at 499.45 well, what happened was this, this is where we get, remember back in late February, right? This is where we closed and we gapped up here. So this was a rather sizable up gap. But what happened was, uh, in, in the midst of it, remember this was a down gap. So it gapped over this down gap. So then what happened was this entire thing right here became a island up gap because it gapped over the down gap here that's why this box is green there was actually a regular normal portion here the normal gap portion right here that got filled on the third hour it's not a coincidence it's not a mistake it's not a random occurrence when we did see that pause today what I mean by that is that when we did see that selling pressure continued to, through the, throughout the day, first hour, second hour, third hour, right on the dot here, 495, 499, 45, we did see that bounce on the fourth hour. You see that long upper wick here? That's a fifth hour upper wick, meaning we did see that continuation during the intra hour but quickly got faded back down because bears are utilizing this falling resistance here. As you can see, it's coming all the way from here, recent peak here, there, here. You can see how this, this narrow downtrend is very much severely, uh, you know, composed with these bear troops here. So anytime when bulls trying to make any sort of attempt to make a little run for it, bears troops are there to shoot them down very, very quickly. Again, this is something that we have this, this kind of a character, this kind of an action we have not witnessed this entire year definitely bears do have more confidence it seems like they're more in control and we are seeing a little bit more push from the sellers that we have not seen again this entire year because this entire year we see any kind of a down gap or any sort of a selling pressure it was quickly met with bullish upside move very very quickly any down any sort of down gap was quickly filled this is the first time here you see this down gap this is the first time that has not been filled for about four days now not only that this is the first time where bears are coming down while keeping their down gap remaining and sustained that's the boss bear command center they established there and they're bringing out their troops and that's exactly why we're seeing a lot of the selling pressure this entire week and now what the boss bear have done is that 
bulls real estate has been reclaimed back to be you see this normal gap area right but then on the fifth fourth and fifth hour the island down gap was again the island gap is rather stronger gap than normal gap that's why this island up gap is uh you know color green because this island up gap is going to support the buyers right that's why even on the fourth hour when bears are trying to push this thing down you see how bulls uh brought that fifth hour can fourth and fifth hour candle there right so obviously market and even these micro term bears respect this island gap area 499.45 so this is a rather vulnerable situation for both uh bulls and bears i'm gonna explain to you why because if this island up gap remember the island gap is much much stronger than regular gap bears don't have the island gap for themselves yet if this island up gap remains sustained it's never filled i'm gonna tell you if this island up gap is never completely filled bulls will find a way to get back up at least retest some of these moving average the best case scenario is to uh, go up here and battle with the boss bears again 518 515 so it is imperative for the sellers either completely fill this island up gap and completely neutralize this this spine pressure there that was coming about or the best case scenario for the sellers is to gap it down and completely turn this into a island down gap. Remember, bears don't have any island down gap for themselves. The oscillator is acting a little funny here because, again, this oscillator has been tamed for this entire month of April. So it, it hit extremely oversold, but you see how that oscillator is very much not finding any kind of pop. Because before, we see oversold pop, oversold pop, oversold pop, oversold pop, oversold pop, oversold pop. pop. We're seeing extreme oversold, actually, and it ain't popping, right? It's just very much subdued and it's like lifeless <laughs> it's uh it's 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 we're not seeing any kind of strength in that oscillator and some might argue okay is it kind of like a little tiny bullish divergence i think that's kind of a desperation cry at this point we're gonna need more than that bulls need to at least break out of this falling resistance we need to see some confidence and uh, thrusting oscillator moving to the upside and then we're you know that that at least breaking above this falling resistance and holding that island gate if we see something like that we could possibly see five ten or so